Next up we have uh, for shoulder stabilisation, uh, we're going to go into serratus activation. So the serratus muscle is located just under the chest muscle there. Um, if you remember the old comics, Superman and Batman always have the big ones there. That's the serratus muscle. All right. So what its job is to lock your, sh your scapula, which is your shoulder blade, into your side, give it stabilisation so it's not just going to wing out and um, it's going to make your shoulders less prone to injury. So the best activation one for that is just a wall push away. This one is set up like your stability hole we did on the floor earlier. Just against the wall, stand a little bit away from it. Okay, from here, push from your elbow to the bottom of your hand, push yourself away from the wall. So you're pushing your arms into the wall, but pushing your body away from the wall. You should feel a, a contraction through here, just a, a stiffening of the muscles, or a stiffness of the muscles. Alright, and from there, you can do reps. Pushing out and holding, or you can just hold that for 25, 30 seconds. Alright, the progression from there is to assume the push out position and while you're still pushing yourself up into the wall and away from the wall, just slide your hands up and down. Alright, don't need to go very far. Alright, the rasp is under there. So, whenever there's shoulder dysfunction, 100% of the time there's going to be a shutdown of the serratus muscle. Okay, so that's how important it is if there's any form of shoulder injury, dislocate, strain, sprain, fall on it. Um, that's what you need to do first up. In conjunction with the serratus muscle for shoulder stabilisation is the lower trap muscle. So we'll go back over to the uh, muscle man. Uh, so I think everyone knows the upper traps, which are the main, the popular ones, but the traps go down in a big triangle, go all the way to the mid back. So and they have sort of different functions, the top, middle and the bottom. So the bottom um, is again a, a scapular stabiliser, it attaches on here. So we need to train this bottom bit to be able to pull our shoulder blade down or it's going to flare up into interior tilt and again cause a shoulder pain um, and impingement issues as well, possibly down the line. So you can see the, the way that the muscle fibres um, go through the muscle, so they go up on diagonal, so that's the way that we want to train those muscles. Um, so a good option is to do wall slide, which is a very underrated exercise as far as hardness goes. I'm not great at them, but you want to bring everything back to the wall. So if you can get your hands to the wall, that's good. If you can't, just try and maintain from your shoulders to your elbows through your triceps on the wall. Whatever range of motion you can use to keep them against the wall, just come up and down. Keep your shoulders down, so when you bring your arms up, don't shrug up, keep everything down. So it might only be four or five inch range of motion. Alright, they're pretty hard. If you're struggling with them, we can move them down to the floor. You can bring you closer to the surface. And the same thing there. Shoulders down, same thing, everything's the same you might get a bit more range of motion through there. So you're pushing down into the floor as you would be pushing back into the wall. Okay, another one to try is just a prone Y ray. So going back to how the, the muscle fibres go out on diagonal. Come over a bench. Okay, make sure your chin's off the bench, you're not digging your chin into the bench. And just from there, thumbs up just come out on the same angle as those muscle fibers. Alright, so we don't want any shrugging up here. A little bit of rhomboid and mid-back uh, retraction is alright, but you want to try and initiate from right down the bottom in the mid-back. Alright? If you weaken those muscles, you'll come up and arch through the back. Okay? So make sure you keep your chest down to your waist in contact with the bench. and come up and down nice and slow. Hold at the top to about 12 to 15 reps of them. And that's it for our shoulder stabilisation.